Hello guys, here's Kryzov. A few weeks ago I made a video about for a hunter mouse, but I got several questions about the lightning options and why the lightning drivers don't work. So I got kind of interested why is it so and what's the best way to check out why something is not working as to take the thing apart and see what's inside it. So here for you I dismantled the old mouse which I was showing in the previous video and I took out the two buttons uh, they are held by these plastic pins so be careful when you are taking them out if you want to see what's inside the mouse because they break easily and also second part you have those plastic pins holders which hold two parts together that's how much you can take apart because apparently it's uh, somehow uh, welded so it's uh, not glued i tried to open it further but i couldn't but what i find out that there are only two led lamps inside this model number of combination for lightning is limited to the two we've got after installing drivers there is also one more light camera lamp and beside those three there's nothing else if you want to have proper lighting and proper functionality of your mouse you should go to driver's side and the mouse comes with basic software offering a wide range of functions that can be assigned to one of six programmable buttons at the bottom of the page you find download drivers and you download the file and unpack it this is a small application, you just copy it to your desktop and when you turn it on, you will get access to all drivers and all settings of the mouse. And the window shows main control tab and alternate key tab. At the beginning they are the same, but this is where you can assign whatever function you want under the additional button. So let's try to assign something under blue left forward button. I'll assign volume plus function and let's assign volume down function under the other key. Now to confirm your choice, go to apply. After you confirm your choice, the mouse should blink twice and this will signify that the change was applied. I show it on the open mouse so you can see it better. Now if you hit confirm and try to change the sound, it will work. So this is how you can assign additional functions to do your buttons and those stay in your application. So under main control now I have volume. If I want to quickly change the setup to another one, then I go to alternate keys and there is also an option to save profiles on your local device or hard drive and then load them but two I think is perfectly enough. From advanced functions we have mouse speed, double click speed and scroll speed. How to change them? You see there are those black rectangles under each dimmer and if you click one of those rectangles, it will change the speed of reaction. The option to confirm it is the same like previous. You hit apply and the mouse shines twice and it confirms the settings. DPI is more tricky because there are only four out of eight which I can assign at the same time. You change them by hitting the blue button in the middle of the mouse. So to change the DPI resolution, you first have to unassign one resolution now, right now i'm using resolution 2400 which is signified by, the, by this red square and i want to over assign 100 so you click it once and then pick another resolution and now my mouse will work on in resolution 1000 1600 and 2400 so if i apply my mouse will shine twice let's see It did and now if I confirm and hit the middle button I will go back to resolution 1000 and the mouse works slow 
then I go into higher resolution and now I'm in 2400. So let's go back to advanced controls. And because I hit uh, middle uh, the pay button three times, it, uh, it signifies that I'm in this resolution. So I don't recommend using higher resolution unless you have uh, a huge 50 inch screen because a small movement will get your cursor all down across uh, the monitor. So I'll go back to the previous settings. So I'll have them like that. Here you can change report rating. So how often the computer uh, gets information from the mouse optical device about the position of the mouse on the mouse pad. 1000 Hertz is one millisecond and 500 is two milliseconds. Fire key mode is connected to main control because if you assign a special key, uh, I mean fire key from, from games under this one, then those settings which are in this section, they go under fire first, third, fourth, and there are no more. And you can uh, over assign the time and repetitiveness of each click. So first you uh, set up here your preferred settings and then go back to the main control, pick right uh, special key for you. So you see that you have those four keys here. And the last tab it's about briefing light and briefing light is as it's shown here on the picture, our fist and as I show in the old mouse, there are two lights responsible for lighting up the whole thing. And uh, one is responsible for lighting this part, second for this part. And unfortunately there are only two modes. One is brief, second one is noun and they differ only slightly. It's almost unnoticeable. We don't have access to LED frequency. We don't have access to LED coral at uh, the optical camera at the bottom of the mouse. It's always red, although it seems like you can change it, but you can't, I tried it. So let's change the color to brief and to gradient and see what's the difference. On producent side, you can find out that there are two modes which are available for this mode. One is brief, the second one is called neon. And uh, although there are options like LED frequency and they're custom locked, you cannot access them. They are not available for this particular mouse. So this, there is a slight difference between color brief and color gradient. We start with color brief and I hit apply. Then my mouse will confirm it. And now the fist and this line of colors will light itself up, go to black and then light itself up again. So it's like a brief. It goes from one color to another, makes a pause, then another. Let's see what's the gradient option. So check gradient, hit apply. Now the mouse confirms and gradient is pretty much the same. I see the difference in the fact that the colors, they appear smoothly one after another. So it's not like you have one color like red and it goes uh, gray and then again, it uh, shines really strongly. You have the light which comes up and it goes through like three colors. It was green, blue, probably purple, and then it uh, goes down and again lets itself up and goes through three colors at a time. This is like a gradient. So those are those two modes which are available in this mouse. And you can then confirm your choice and leave it for time being. To summarize, this mouse gives you opportunity to change into, into two modes of lightning. It's, it's not very expensive, so there's uh, no way it will compete with brands like Razer or Oden gaming brass or, or any other but I think for this money it's perfect and if you enjoyed this episode please leave a like comment on it and see you next time thank you guys bye